I am an ordained pastor in the Lutheran Church. Are you LGBTQ affirming? I am. I'm if they start, if they start blocking me, then the, the megaphone just has to come out. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at that! What do you imagine? This. Uh oh! Uh oh! She's getting. Uh oh! She's getting. Love is love. Agree or disagree? Uh, agree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Completely agree. Father with an adult consensual daughter should be okay. Why is that called incest if love is love? I don't know. LGBT+, adalah perluasan dari istilah LGBT yang merupakan perilaku yang menyimpang dalam hal seksualitas. Saat ini telah menjadi sebuah fenomena yang makin mewabah di tengah masyarakat barat. Kampanye yang masif, promosi yang gencar, membuat pengaruh LGBT ini semakin mengkhawatirkan bagi kaum orang-orang yang beriman. Dan hal yang tak bisa dipungkiri, LGBT kini telah menjadi ladang dakwah baru bagi dua pendakwah agama Samawi, yakni pendakwah Islam dan penginjil Kristiani. Seperti cuplikan berikut yang dilansir dari channel The Trenches. I saw your rainbow sock. Would you mind taking a quick interview? Sweet. Your rainbow socks? Get away. Yeah, I saw it. Not this soggy ball. Get away. Terlihat seorang pemuda Kristen sekaligus penginjil mencoba menantang agenda LGBT di jalanan Amerika Serikat. Seorang diri ia secara radikal berkhotbah dengan menggunakan ayat-ayat Bibelnya. Alright, so are you LGBTQ affirming? I am. I'm LGBTQ identified and affirming. And you're also in Christ. I am in Christ. Are you born again? I am an ordained pastor in the Lutheran Church. Oh, in the Lutheran Church. I could have guessed that one. Um, so, biblically, you know, 1 Corinthians 6, 9. I'm not going to get into a biblical diatribe today because well, you're a we're preacher. To are you a preacher? I am a preacher. So why are you not going to talk about the Bible? If you'd like to hear me preach, you can meet me at 7 o'clock on Sundays at 113 8th Avenue South. But I want to have Good civil to dialogue real quick. I, don't I mean, have if you're if you're a I'm preacher and are right of the now. Bible, are you a woman of God? I am a woman of God. So talk to me about God. Evangelize with me. Come to church on Sunday night, and I'll be happy to do that. Do you, excuse me, man. I saw your blue hair and just everything. Would you mind taking a quick statement about what brought you out here? Namun gaya radikalnya yang menggunakan ayat-ayat biblikal tentu saja akan mendapat resistansi keras dari para audiensnya. Bukan saja penolakan, bahkan ia mungkin akan membahayakan keselamatan dirinya. Benar saja, orang-orang mulai kesal dan memboikot wawancaranya. So, if they start, if they start blocking me, then the, the megaphone just has to come out. So you're gonna follow me. Now, I'm just gonna advise you real quick. I'm being 100% serious. Listen to me real quick. I'm just gonna advise you. If you start blocking me, I'm gonna use the megaphone, and I don't think you want that to happen right now. So I would advise you not to block me. Okay? I'm giving you a warning right now. Excuse me, guys. What brought you guys out here today? He's, he's okay, so if you if you keep this up, do it one more time. The megaphone comes out. I'm giving you your warning. Okay. Nice. I gave them their warning. Nashville drag performer. Okay, that doesn't sound too good. I gave you guys a warning not to block me, but if I'm gonna have to use the megaphone, that's what's gonna have to happen. Oh, need to learn something called the Bible. Keep pushing me, guys. Walaupun alasannya benar, namun tentu saja kita harus tetap melakukannya dengan cara yang benar. Kita bisa lihat akhirnya, penginjil Kristen ini gagal menyampaikan khotbahnya untuk menyadarkan pemikiran mereka karena gayanya yang radikal. Namun menariknya kita akan bandingkan dengan gaya khotbah atau nasihat yang digunakan oleh seorang pemuda muslim pemilik channel Way of Life SK berikut ini. Love is love. Agree or disagree? Uh, agree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Completely agree. Okay, tell me more about your definition of that. What do you mean by that? It means that everyone should be able to love whomever they want and be free to do that and live their lives. You can love anyone. Doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that's important. Whatever makes you happy to love, go right ahead with it. Wow, that's such a blessed message. That's such a kind message. Okay. Terlihat Eski, si pemuda muslim ini tidak menggunakan ayat-ayat Al-Quran untuk mendakwahi mereka. Ia terus menggali informasi, bahkan tak segan memuji argumentasi mereka. So Daisy, let me ask you this. If a brother and sister want to be together intimately and love each other, is that okay? 
Um, depends who you ask. Platonic intimate, right? Um, I mean, intimate. They want to be together. So love could be in a way where it's okay, brother and sister, too. I love my brother. Oh, yes. Yeah. But, but if, what if you really love your brother? <laughs> I'm talking about, yeah. I mean, I mean, the I, next level love, sir. Yeah. What about that? I, Akhirnya mereka terjebak dengan argumentasi mereka sendiri. Terlihat jelas mereka terkejut bagaimana pertanyaan ini akan muncul. Sampai di sini dakwah eskisi pemuda muslim sudah mulai terlihat menguasai arah diskusi ini. So you're saying that as long as they wear protection or she's on birth control, then they can do it? No, neither. He could pull out. He doesn't have to wear anything. Okay. So it's okay to do them or it's not okay? If it makes them happy, it's none of my business. Oh, wow. Can a father be with his daughter? I would I would not agree with that, but that wouldn't be my call. I agree. Be, yeah. I agree. If an adult is with well, a... No, I, we're talking about an adult. Of course. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, if love is love, does age even matter? Yes, it does. Someone needs to be an adult in order to make those kind of decisions. So a father with an adult consensual daughter should be okay? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that I, that would be okay. But again, I don't judge other people's decisions. If the daughter wants to be with the dad, yes, that's fine. Okay. If you're raping her, it's completely different. But it's the whole thing of procreating. Okay. And if he's not forcing his daughter into doing it, the daughter also obviously has issues. So she wants to go on ahead and do it with her father and go right ahead. But, but The okay. problem is procreating. Okay, so, but here's the thing, right? You're assuming they have issues, but if love is love, then why should it even be an issue? You used the word originally called incest. Right. Why is that called incest if love is love? I don't know. You see? There's an issue because internally we know some things are wrong. You understand? And it's okay for some things to be wrong. Our problem is that we've become so PC and we want to be so liberal to the degree that we're afraid of saying what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. There's certain things that are allowed to be wrong and it's okay to be wrong. Setelah mereka kompak menjawab cinta seperti itu adalah ilegal dan tidak boleh, dengan cerdasnya Eski mulai mengarahkan kepada mereka bahwa segala hal harus memiliki batasan dan aturan, termasuk urusan cinta. Kemudian Eski akan menyadarkan bahwa Tuhanlah yang telah membuat batasan dan aturan bagi manusia. But the question is, who sets those boundaries? I don't know. Sometimes certain things are hard for us to digest because on one second we're claiming that hey, love is love. That you know, you should be able to love whoever you, you want. So if a brother and a brother technically according to that definition want to do that, technically they should be able to. But we know that love has boundaries. Would that make sense? Yes. Love does have boundaries. I think so. As yeah. everything has boundaries. everything has boundaries. Without boundaries, things will go crazy. So love needs to have boundaries and parameters. And that's all. That's literally what we wanted to come down to because if people don't have parameters and boundaries within their love, yeah. the question is where would we be as a society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the one who tells us what's morally correct versus what's not correct? I can't answer that. Yeah, that's the thing, right? We need to have a guidance or something thing where not another human being to a human being but we are all creation we as muslims believe that the creator is the one who told us what should be correct and what should not be correct now the real question is who's supposed to make those laws because if you leave it up to human beings and society we'll make different laws each time so there has to be a system that is not left to just us okay so if the human beings aren't setting the boundaries who is the creator of the human beings okay and who is the creator according to you uh, not just according to me okay. this is the creator of all things it doesn't even matter what the name of this creator is we need to first acknowledge that there is a creator okay right okay. and if there if there is a creator this creator is the only one who has the right to tell us what's what's right or what's wrong that's the point yeah interesting yeah interesting right just an interesting conversation do you mind if we leave with you with, with a quick gift sure, sure okay it's not a better hairline than that because i can't give you one i don't got no hair sir it's gone it left me a long time ago okay so please i want to leave you a quick gift this is the Quran. This is the holy scripture for Muslims as well too, okay? Demikianlah cara berdakwah pemuda muslim yang baik hati ini menyampaikan dengan sopan santun, penuh kegembiraan serta uswatun hasanah sehingga mendatangkan senyum sesama dan keretuan Allah Subhanahu wa taala.